Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. Today we are going to see a very interesting problem on a string in Java. I will say it's not a problem, it's the way we are using the string in Java. So if you have seen the thumbnail, you have seen like what is the correct way to initialize a string. So if I will go with that thumbnail, you can see I can initialize a string using two methods. One is like just assigning that a string to that variable or I can use the string constructor to create that string object. So which is the better way to initialize a string? So that is the question. So before I should answer this question, let's go in deep and see what is happening behind the scene when we are trying to initialize the string by these two methods. So let's go into the string first. So what is a string in Java? The video will cover what is a string in Java, what is a string entering, then using the constructor to create that string and manual entering and some talk on the string pool. So let's see what is a string. If I go with the definition, a string is basically an object that represents a sequence of the character values. So if I say if I have a variable string example equal to this is a literal string. So in this if you see this particular thing which is inside this double quotes are a string. Now coming to our problem what is the correct way to initialize a string. So whenever we are trying to create a string using this assignment operator and putting that string into this devil quotes, Java compiler is basically creating this string into the string pool and assigning this string literal and assigning this string literal to this string variable. Now suppose if I'm trying to create a, another string using this way and putting the same literal that this is a string literal into the second string also, the Java compiler is not going to create a new string. It will just simply point this string also to this constant string too. So you can see that even if you're creating two string variables, and both is having the same string inside the double quotes, Java compiler is not going to create a new string into the string pool. It is going to assign the same string to both the Java variables. So this is happening when we are trying to create a string pool by using this assignment operator. If you are comparing these two strings by using the equal to operator and trying to print what will the output of this particular statement. Can you guess? It will be true because both is pointing to the same string literal and in string pool both is having the same value. So this will give us as a true result. Now coming to creating a string using the constructor. So in this what we are going to do is create a string variable and assign that string by using the new keyword. So here if you see we are going to use this new keyword and this is our string. Now in this case the Java compiler is going to create this object into this heap. It is not going to create this object into the string pool and it will create that object into this heap. So what it will do is it will create this object into the heap and point this object to this string variable. Now suppose if you are trying to create a new string object new string 2 here. So this is the thing I am pointing out that it is trying to create this new string 2 and you see this is the same value it is going to create into this new string also. So in this case instead of pointing this new string 2 to the same object it is going to create a new object here even though the value of these two objects are same it is going to create a new object here and it will point this object to this new string. Now in this case if you are trying to compare this new string 1 to the new string 2 even the value of these two strings are same this is going to return you false. 
So this we can see in our code now. Let's go to the code and see how these things are behaving. Now moving to the Eclipse, for the shake of the time, I have already written this code on the Eclipse. Now you can see what I'm trying to do is trying to create four strings here. Two strings using the assignment operator and putting that string into these two double quotes and two strings by using this new keyword. Now let's run this code and see what the output we are getting. For the illustration purpose, I am going to run this code into the debug mode so that I can show you what is happening behind the scene. So let's run the code into the debug mode here. Now as you can see, I have created two strings here and both string is pointing to the same string uh, value. So this is a string literal, this is a string literal. So both strings are same. So here you can see in these two things is created into the string pool. And as you can see the both ID is 21 here because this two strings constant string one and constant string two is pointing to the same literal. And how we can know that this is the same literal? You can see the ID for both the literal is 21. Now if you are going to run this code or if you are going to for the next step what the output we are going to get here it will print is as a true because both is pointing to the same literals. Now coming to here when you are trying to create the string using the new keyword you can see here that it is creating a new string whose id is 36 and this it is creating in heap not into the string pool. Now if you go here and see here when I'm trying to create the string 2, it is creating a new new string, new object here whose ID is 37. Its ID is not same as 36 because here we are trying to create that string using the new keyword. Now if you're trying to print or now if you're trying to see that the string 1 and string 2 is same or not, it will return as a false because this ID is different and what it basically is saying that two strings is not same. It is not going to compare what you are keeping inside that string object it is going to compare what is the string object itself now as i was saying there is a uh, manual intern also so what this particular method is going to do is to see that if is there any object in the string pool which has the same string value or not so here you can see that this is a string literal if you go and see these two strings in the string pool is having the same value. Now if I'm going to run this code, you can see this ID has changed from 37 to 21. Now it is also pointing, this string 2 is also pointing to this string literal. So if you if I go to our uh, code here and see, Basically, in this case, this string 2 will be pointing to this string literal only. Now, if I'm going to compare my string 2 with the constant string 1, which is nothing but the variable where we have created that string using the, this assignment operator and not using the new keyword. Now, here, if I'm going to run this code, you can see that it is returning as true because this string 2 is pointing to the same literal which is inside that string pool. Now, we are saying a lot of things about the string pool right so let's see what is a string pool a little bit so a string pool before java 6 so let's go and differentiate this it is java 6 and this is your java 7 now this is java 6 in java 6 the memory management was like this so we had something called permgen here and inside this, we have that string pool. So this you can assume that this was your string pool and this part was heap. So all the strings which we are creating as an assignment operator like this is getting created into this string pool and all the strings which we are creating using the new keyword new string suppose test here all this is getting created into this heap so this was happening in java 6 from the java 7 
what they have done is they have moved okay so this is our perm gen they have moved this string pool from perm gen to heap memory only so this was your heap and this was your perm gen value so they moved this string pool from perm gen to heap this happened in java 7 so now all the constants or all the strings which we are creating like this will be stored in heap so this is a bit of information about the string pool so which is the good way or which is the better way to create a string so that was a question right as you can see if you are creating a string using this string literal or using this assignment operator it is going to use the memory efficiently as if there the strings are same it is going to point the same string object and not going to create object again and again so in this way we can see that creating an object using this string literal is better than creating an object using this new keyword hope you like this video if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and stay connected till then have a great day and goodbye